Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wade's Garage. It's an exciting day. We're gonna be taking the engine out of the Supra and replacing it with this bad boy right here. For those who don't know already, this car has the 2JZ GE in it, and this is the 2JZ GTE. So this is a factory twin turbo setup, obviously with a big single on it, uh, converting over to drive-by wire, refreshed everything on this, just put 272 cams in it from BC, all new springs, all ready to go, all refreshed, all gaskets replaced, all brand new parts in it and everything else. We're gonna be putting this engine into that, as well as this transmission this is a T56 Magnum F. This is a six speed transmission. We have the adapter bell housing to go to the 2JZ, flywheel bolts, all the hardware, the wiring harnesses, the drive shaft, the clutch and the brace, everything to convert this car over to six speed. So first off, we're gonna move this car out and then we're gonna bring it over to the hoist side here, dropping all the fluids, getting everything all sorted out that way. Soon enough, we'll have that 2JZ GE out and we'll clean everything in the engine bay and make it look really nice. And then we'll drop the new one in. So I'm gonna show you guys a little before action here. As you can see, like I said, we got the 2JZ GE in there. Great engine too, can hold a good amount of power, but uh, that's the holy grail over there. There's a little before, and we're gonna get at taking this thing out. Okay, so now that we got a few things tidied up, up in the top part, I lifted it up, pulled the drive shaft out, just about to pull the old W58 out, that's the five speed. I got all the bell housing bolts loose, or taken out. Now all I need to do is get underneath of it and undo this brace here, and then this should just slide off. Get this trans out of the way and then pull the whole main harness through the top and pull it out and then that way I'll just pull the whole entire engine out with the wiring harness and then work on it. Outside of the car, it'd be a lot easier to pull the harness and everything off that way. So let's get at it. I don't have a trans jack. It's very light like transmission. I've done it before with a stool like this. Lower it down onto the stool and slide the underneath of it and then roll it back on the wheels. This will hold it no problem. So we're going to make do with what we have here and uh, get this transmission dropped and then uh, get this engine in here. Okay, so the entire engine assembly is out of the Supra now. Now I have a lot of cleaning to do in here. It's fairly clean in here, just needs a lot of scrubbing with degreaser as you can see here, like just wipe that off with my hands and most of this stuff will come off very easily, but I'm gonna scrub everything down, make it look perfect in there for that new beauty to go in. So. I gotta swap a few things over from this engine to that engine, like the motor mounts and stuff like that. But I have pulled the oil pan and everything off the Toyota 2JZ GE engine, set it over here, and I'm prepping it all, getting all the old silicone off of it for the new engine so we can seal it up. I've transferred the motor mounts over, as you can see they're on there. These are actually TRD engine mounts here that I've bolted up to the factory motor mount to the engine here. So I was able to find a used set, a lightly used set that uh, these are hard to find now, the TRD ones. So that's good, along with the other side here. So we're gonna get this uh, oil pan 
installed here. I've already went ahead and tapped it since that was the non-turbo version. Basically, the uh, 2J blocks are identical to each other other than the GTE over there has a different cylinder head. The only difference between the two blocks is that these have extra uh, piston squirters that uh, are underneath there for extra oiling and stuff like that. And these have different pistons and stuff in them, but the blocks pretty well stay the exact same. So I'm able to grab the oil pan. It already had a spot to tap a drain for the oil return from the turbo so i've tapped it put studs in it drilled that out usually it just has a plate here for the non-turbo but the pan stays pretty well the same so we're gonna go ahead and clean all this up get it all prepped put it onto that engine after we get that oil pan on we should be ready to drop that engine into this car we're gonna take all this stuff off obviously intake turbo and stuff so it's easier take this nice painted stuff off so it doesn't get scratched put the hooks in Okay, so now that we have resealed the entire oil pan here, everything is all sealed up, nicely cleaned, put back together. As you can see here on the turbo side, I used my old turbo flange, my drain from the actual turbo itself. It's got a bit of an angle on it, as you can see here, and that will work perfectly. I tap the two studs on the uh, oil pan, and then that lines up perfectly. There's an O-ring in there as well. I put a little bit of sealant in there just to be safe. Uh, that should drain perfectly, it's even on a bit of an angle, so that should work with my angles. So that should work out perfect. We'll see if that lines up with the hoses. But now that this is all put back together and sealed, now start to clean up my stuff here, get a little bit more organized, get this thing out of the way here, put the new engine in the Supra. So now that the engine is in, as you've seen there, it took quite a bit of time because it was very stressful getting that engine in with brand new paint on the car and uh, trying not to hit anything and lower it at a certain height, make sure it slides right in. I didn't wanna have to take the hood off so I could just you know get it between the bumper and the actual hood without hitting anything. This thing fit in there perfectly. Obviously it's meant to be in the car, but it's not like the LS3350Z where you're, you know, you're questioning it as you're putting it in. There should be no question. This should just bolt right in. Already, it looks excellent in here. Everything's nice and tidy down there. All the engine bay is nice and clean here. I wiped it all down. Now it's time to install the turbo and the intake. This is how a Supra engine bay is supposed to look.
is going to conclude out today's video guys the engine's in i'm happy the silver looks unreal on the centerpiece here and the black on the sides the contracts look so good with the black wheels and the silver on the car i managed to get this matched up perfectly with the uh, body color here same paint code which is sweet now we just need a nice new powerhouse racing radiator in here a few other things nice intake all my uh, intercooler piping harness ecu a few other odds and ends here and there but so far we're looking pretty good here obviously we're going to get rid of this drive-by cable setup here because we've converted over to the bosch throttle body so we're gonna do drive by wire yeah no that looks great that is how a supra engine bay should look with that big turbo on the side there so beyond excited to get going with this a little bit more here as stuff starts to roll in the next video will be us putting the transmission in with the granis racing bell housing and the clutch and all that good stuff underneath of there and then it will complete this whole setup here and we'll have this thing hopefully running in no time. So that's it for today's video, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Put in the comments below. Let me know what uh, if I should change up my style of videos or what I should do differently. I'm always open to more options and uh, open to more ideas. So shoot down in the comments. Let me know what you think. Talk to you guys soon.